Hey guys, Travis at One Up Adventures, and we're gonna do a quick video this morning showing you how to replace a line on your gliders. I can fly. So sometimes mistakes happen. We had a small mistake with this glider down in Costa Rica where the propeller made some contact with the line and opened up the sheathing. So we still, still have a good inner core, but we just want to make sure that the, uh, we don't have any further issues. So we're going to go ahead and replace this line. We ordered a line from Michelle Daniel at Paramotor City Lines in a day. They're really good. We got the line in about three days and we're going to go ahead and replace it. First thing we're going to do is we opened up the triangle mallion on top of the A riser. This is an AR2 line. Uh, you can figure out the line that you need to replace just by opening up your wing manual. And there will be a line schematic diagram in the, uh, usually in the back of the manual that will tell you uh, exactly what the code name for the line is. So when you're ordering a new line, whether you order it from uh, Paramotor City Lines in the Day or the manufacturer, you do need that code. So we were able to determine that this is an AR2 line. So, uh, like I said, we've opened up the mallion. On the ozone gliders, you've got this rubber ring that just keeps the line to the top, at the top of the, uh, of the mallion, so it can't slide around. So we're gonna go ahead and, and take off that rubber O-ring. Um, and then we're gonna have to remove, actually, both of these lines. You can see these lines go through the O-ring. And uh, Eric DeFord just actually recently did a really nice video on how to replace these O-rings, because they can be a little bit tricky if you haven't done them before. So we've got both lines removed, and then I'm just gonna pull out the, uh, the AR2 line, and I'm gonna put the other one back on so we don't lose it anywhere. I'm just gonna put it over the mallion, and I'm gonna go ahead and just close it up a little bit so it can't go anywhere. So we've got the line that goes all the way up to the cascade. Okay, so where the line connects to the cascade and splits off, we're gonna go ahead and push it through, get it nice and loose to the point we can start pulling. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull, pull, pull. So we get to the end. Now we've pulled it all through the cascade and where the line, you can see what's left here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off. So this line's removed. While it's removed, I'm gonna hold these together again so we can't lose these, and I'm gonna grab my replacement line. Okay, so I've got my replacement line, and again, we're attached to these, we're cascades to these two lines. I'm gonna loop my replacement line over the top. It's very important that you do this correctly. I'm gonna loop it over the top. Then I'm gonna find the opposite end of the line, I'm gonna take that opposite end, I'm gonna feed it through those two lines, and I'm gonna pull everything tight. So once everything gets nice and tight, you can see that it's just gonna slide down, and make this nice little knot. Should look just like that when all is said and done. Okay, so we've got the other end of our replacement line. Uh, remember earlier how we put this back on, which was the other A line that's attached to this riser. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put the new line through the O-ring. And then I'm gonna hook them both to the mallet. Okay, pull it tight. And I'm gonna take the O-ring I'm gonna twist it and put the O-ring also back around the mallion. So you can see now the O-ring has, that's what it should look like around the lines. We're gonna tighten up the mallion, grab our pliers, make sure these are plier tight, not hand tight. And that's it. So we just replaced the AR2 line on the Rosone Mojo 6. Last thing guys, it's important that you kite the glider. Um, make sure that the line is the correct length. So really the only way to determine that is one, check the line before you replace it. 
put it side by side with the line that you're replacing and make sure it looks like it's the correct way. And then once you replace the line, go ahead and kite the glider. 